welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea and I am going to Disney World next week and I need a new pair of Mickey ears and I really want a Rapunzel ones and I couldn't find any so I found this really adorable fabric and it's probably upside down. Rapunzel, Cassandra, and Flynn Rider and it's from Tangled Ever After and I'm in love with this fabric so we're going to be making Mickey ears as I'm jumping on the bandwagon of I tried following a Sierra Schultz DIY Mickey and Minnie Mouse ears tutorial. But I want to put this video out soon, so. People make Disney ears. Hashtag not sponsored. A video together and show you guys how to make your own pair of like super high quality Mickey Mouse ears. Maggie taught herself how to make these ears just by messing around with her crafty side, and she taught me how to make them. And now I'm gonna teach all of you. I have a full supplies list of exactly what you're gonna need in the description, so check that out if you want a full shopping list to make your own ears. Now let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. The first thing we're gonna do is cover the headband that's gonna serve as the base for our ears. So go ahead and start by cutting a strip of fabric for the headband and roll a one inch headband over the fabric to see how much you'll need. Once you figure out how much fabric you're gonna need, fold the fabric over itself before you cut it so that it has a straight edge and it'll be easier to fit on the headband later. Lay out the strip of fabric, good side, facing the table and just hot glue across the headband as you roll it over. And a little headband covering life hack, instead of trying to glue all the edges down in one big piece, Cut it into tabs and then glue each of those individually. It will only take a few extra minutes and this will make the headband a lot smoother and keep the fabric from bubbling. Once it's dry, take a piece of three- Okay, okay, okay. Okay, right, way too much. All right, so I have my Rapunzel fabric and I did um, iron it before I did this so I would have a nice smooth surface as opposed to, um, not that it would be crinkly or anything, but you can never be too safe. I got these headbands at Walmart. They, they're not an inch. I think they're like three fourths of an inch. I got a pack of three and I went to Hobby Lobby and they had like half inch headbands and everything was else really super skinny. So I had to go to Walmart and this is all I got. So word of advice, probably go to like Amazon and find one inch headbands. Otherwise you're gonna go to a bunch of different stores and not find what you're looking for. Anyways, so let's, um. See what I need to do here. Cut a little bit extra. I don't want to waste fabric here. So cut right there. I'm not using fabric scissors either because rebel. Well, that's that's about good. Alright. I'm gonna try to hot glue the uh, the headband and we're gonna roll the fabric on like that. So do this. I'm gonna put the fabric like this towards me and then I'm gonna roll that way. They're looking pretty good here. I have a little flap right here at the end that I'm going to re-glue. I didn't put too much glue on it either because I know if you put 
a big string of glue on this, it's gonna bubble up. Like you can kind of see it on the top, but we're gonna attach a bow and uh, the ears, so you'll be able to tell. So now I'm going to cut this in slits and uh, attach it that way. All right, I'm gonna cut this and I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so I folded it over and I attached the belt. So this is, the inch is too thick because the headband's only like three fourths of an inch. So I used the thinner piece and I just hot glued it on and you guys know how to use hot glue. So I didn't think I needed to show it. So we're gonna continue going with this. Mind you, it's 7.01 now and I only have the headband done. Yeah, I don't know where the other one went. And the foam in the batting one is the same size as the sewing line, so I just used this one. And I already did this. Oh yeah. Uh, no, whatever. Okay. So I'm gonna cut these out, and we're gonna return. I would probably next time draw them on the other side, just in case you mess up. It's good sides facing each other, and make sure that you pin the two pieces together. It might seem like a simple little detail, but this is gonna make the ears look so much better, and it's gonna make sewing them a lot easier. Okay. I did this. Okay, so I attempted to sew needle and thread because my mom won't let me use the sewing machine because I used it once when I was 12. I cut off Flynn's head, but um, it doesn't look so hot. So now with an adult supervision, my mom's gonna sew it for me. Thanks, mom. You wanted to do this? All right, with a little uh, parent supervision here, we got two ears. Shout out to mom. So maybe eventually I'll learn how to use a sewing machine. But um, for now, thanks mom. Okay, what's next? The template, this will give us enough room to stuff them and then you're just gonna turn them inside out and we'll get to the stuffing. So we're gonna take that third template and this one is for the foam. Cut three pieces of thin foam per ear, so six total, and hot glue all three together to make a thick stack. You can also just get thicker foam, but using this little method is gonna make it a little bit more pliable and easier to get inside the ear. Bend the foam together like a little rolled taco and feed it into the ears. If they seem a little bit big, just keep working it in and eventually they will probably fit. The stiffer the ears, the better, so try not to turn them down unless you absolutely have to. Now, in addition to the foam, we're also gonna be using some batting to make them look a little bit more full and magical and Disney. Yeah, I don't have batting, but I have spider web, so we're gonna use this. Okay, let's start. I think I'm still gonna have to cut a little bit more off the edge, which I'm gonna do right now. Okay. So now it looks really small. But I'm just gonna trace this on here. And actually, maybe I'll get three pieces out of this one. And then you roll it like this. I have really stiff foam, so if you get a little bit thinner foam, it's not gonna crease up like this, but you just open up your ear and stick it in there like a taco maybe <laughs> this is so hard how did I pass kindergarten Ugh. all right maybe not there we go okay you gotta make sure the seam also lines up with the outside of the ears. Okay, great. And then take some cider web or batting or cotton balls um, or random fabric and just stick it in there. Probably open up an old pillow and get some fluff out of there and stuff it in there too. Whatever you 
can do to make your ears more fluffier. Wouldn't recommend Spiderweb because it does get all over the place. But um, I didn't have to buy any batting, so I mean, it's okay, right? Maybe. And make sure you don't overstuff it because if you overstuff it, then it's gonna explode. And then you gotta make sure your ears are symmetrical and they have the right amount of stuffing between both ears and they're evenly distributed because if not, they're gonna look lopsided. And then if you put too much stuffing in on one side, you're not gonna be able to get the stuffing in on the other side. This is a complicated process. I don't know how people do this. Props to anyone who makes ears and sells them. These ears are also a lot smaller than normal ears. So um, there is the template in the description and I would you know, recommend uh, over drawing and making them a little bit bigger and maybe use the um use the this one the ear cutting line as the sewing line so draw a little bit bigger then your ears will turn out a little bit bigger they'll look a little bit nicer I don't know we'll see how they turn out being okay good enough it's not gonna be perfect it's fine moving on into a taquito and then fold it into a U and stuff that into the ears, filling the edges first. When the ears are stuffed full, trim down the fabric a little bit if necessary and leave just enough room to hot glue them closed. And now it's time to put the headband and the ears together. Okay, so hot glue them closed. So I unplugged the hot glue on. Mind you, it is 8.50 and we started this at 6.22. Sierra, you lied to me. You said this was going to be under an hour and it is an hour and a half already. All right. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I barely have any fabric to seal it shut. So make sure when you're cutting to leave enough room so that you have enough to seal it, because I definitely don't have enough to seal it. Um, so I'm probably gonna end up attaching a scrap piece, hot gluing it, and then folding it over. Okay. So this one is super, super messy, oops. Once it seems like the hot glue is almost dry, press back on the ears a little bit to keep them from falling forward when you wear them. Also, let them dry facing upside down to minimize this effect over time. And the last step, the- Okay, we're gonna eyeball these and um, I'm gonna try to push this down as much as possible to hide the ugliness of this. Um, so. That looks good right about there, so we're gonna glue them down. Pray for me. While we're holding this, I'm gonna watch the next part. Beautiful big bow. Measure your ribbon out to how long you want the bow to be, and then double that length and cut it. Then cut another one of those double ribbon strips in the exact same size. Also, cut a little three-inch strip of ribbon that would be used to cover the front of the bow, fold it over itself, and hot glue it together so it's about three-eighths inch of a little strip. Now take your two long strips of ribbon and fold them in half, and you're gonna have a little bit of a crease in the middle, how did anyone follow this? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hang on. Her friend has purple hair. And the person making the ears in the video has long curly purple hair. Sierra, this is false. She didn't even make the ears. Also, I'd like to point out that the ribbon in the video looks a lot more flimsier than this ribbon. This ribbon is very thick. Um, I got the purple sparkly one because I wanted it to match. I almost got teal sparkly, um, but there's a lot of teal in this, in these ears, so I wanted the color to basically offset it. So I could have done white. Um, gold would have been really cute too, to do like the color of her hair. Um, now I have to fold this in half and remove that. Fold this in half, and there's a crease, so I have to glue this like this. And when you do this, make sure you draw a thin line of blue 
otherwise you are going to have a giant line um, and you can actually see it on my ears a little bit I did enough um, a thin layer but towards the end here you can notice a bump but they're gonna be behind my ears so no one's gonna notice I wouldn't recommend getting super thick ribbon like this because it is very hard to maneuver um, I would recommend getting a little bit thinner of ribbon um, because this is a this is ribbon boutique um, 100% polyester. I don't know if that means anything. It might just be because of the glitter, which I don't know. It could be, but um, I'm just gonna do this and try to match it so it looks the same on both sides, which is not going to happen. And that looks good enough, right? It's only a bow. It's not like it's the most important piece, which is a total lie, but. All right, so now I have to attach the two together, like so. Um, and you can see, like, you can see the bottom, how this side has, like, the the line, like, you know what I mean? And this side has, like, the good side. So we're gonna make this side the front part. Okay. Um, now I am going to attach this, and I'm gonna put, like, the middle right here, and then flip the back side over like this. So after I attached the bow, I wasn't too thrilled about how the bottom of the ear looked on the headband. It looked really messy and that was because I didn't cut enough fabric, so I decided to cut a purple strip of the ribbon and place it all the way around the ear just to clean it up a little bit. And here is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I had a great time making them. They did take me three hours to make or four. I didn't end until about 10 to 10. So, um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.